everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today, I'm, um, I am a little bit out of control. A little bit out of control. Um, the scrubs, the shower gels, uh, just, there is so much hygiene hauling happening in this video. It is only the beginning of April and I'm still waiting for some body work sales to happen so I can go crazy there. Oh boy. Okay, anyway. Let's use some stuff up, but also celebrate all the new stuff coming in, which I am so, so, so excited about. I have lots, especially body scrubs and body washes to walk you through today. I'll have timestamps down below, but generally what I'm going to do, I've got some odds and ends I'm going to start off with. I'm then going to do my body scrubs. I'm going to do the shower gels. Um, and the, although I do have one kind of K-beauty body scrub, in with my body scrub section. I'm gonna have a whole kind of separate K-beauty section at the end, which is kind of my first kind of experience diving into some of those products. So without further ado, let's dive into the miscellaneous. First up, we're gonna start with SPF because uh, SPF is very important to wear and I'm very bad at wearing it on a daily basis, uh, particularly on the face. Uh, but going for dog walks when it's spring and summer, I'm very good at doing my SPF beforehand. And so I have a couple SPF still, they're small, so I would need more. So I decided to stock up since it was on sale. So I picked up the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch. This is their sunscreen lotion SPF 50. It's got a really nice kind of tropical kind of scent to it. It is SPF 50, which is kind of like my minimum that I do. And it was on sale, so figured I'd get another one. Also on sale, I grabbed a backup of Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. Um, they were on sale at the time, and I kind of looked at all the different scent options, and most of them, like lavender, chamomile, they don't really appeal to me. So I just went with the one I already have, which is the Glow and Radiance with Vitamin C and Citrus Essential Oils. Um, the bag is filled up to here. The current one I'm working on, I think we're down to like here or so. So I still have a fair bit, but... I figured I would have a backup ready to go. Final miscellaneous item. There are a lot of items I picked up from Marshalls and uh, this here is one of them. Uh, I have one bubble bath currently at Beauty A to Z. I have two additional bubble baths as well, but this one just, it appealed to me so I picked it up anyway. This is a full liter. Uh, from Body Prescriptions. This is the Stay Golden Lemon Citrus Bubble Bath. So you can see one liter, quite large, and it just smells, it smells so nice. Um, I am definitely excited to give this one a go, give it some use. There, I can smell, there's still a safety seal on there, but it smells a little bit better now. This is going to be very nice. I'm looking forward to it, um, especially because the like the coconut bubble bath I have, totally fine. That's going to be great. But I do have another lavender, which is just like. Eh. Let's move into all of these scrubs. I'm going to start with like what seems to be a K Beauty scrub first. Again, another Marshalls item, and I just I've seen this one a couple times. I've passed it over, but I think especially with any of like my more floral routines, which again, I'm a fruity girl, but I do have some floral scents in my collection. I think that this might be a nice option to pair with it. And look at the size of it. Like, oh my goodness. This is 600 milliliters from Last Jungle. This is the Cherry Blossom Body Scrub. Got it for $7.99. Of course, all prices are Canadian dollars. And what intrigued me about this one, not only can I pair it with more of my floral scents, but like, look at that texture. Like that texture just looks really nice and interesting. Obviously, I haven't tested any of these out yet, but I was just intrigued. And so I decided, I'm gonna go for it. $7.99. Not bad of a price. And there's tons of it in here. And it's gonna go with my floral scent. So I had more of a purpose in mind with this one in particular. And then I may have gone a little crazy on the Dove Scrubs. I have hauled recently this exact one, the pomegranate seeds and shea butter. I have hauled the brown sugar and coconut. I think that's what it is. And now I have these three. So let's start with the one I already have, the pomegranate seeds and shea butter from Dove. This was on clear out actually from, I wanna say Walmart. I picked this one up and I'm like, 
Why is it on clear out? Okay then. So obviously I have two of these now. So anytime I have a double of something, I do want to try to prioritize getting at least one of them out. But I think this is going to be a nice fruity option. And so I will enjoy playing with this guy. And then Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a Canadian company here. Generally, they're more on the expensive side, but they recently redid their soap section and they have new products. I mean, some of the stuff you guys have had for a while, um, some like American influencers have been pushing them for a little while now, but I just saw them for the first time and they were on sale, not a stupid sale like, oh, well, it's regular price $10.99 and we're going to charge you $10.49. No, we actually had a good sale. So I picked up first this little guy, which I think can go with basically any routine. This is the Dove Body Love Body Polish. This one is a little bit more special though because this is for rough and buffy skin. It has AHA serum in it. Um, so, yeah, you're supposed to oh, leave on for one minute to infuse moisture. Do you have to do that with this one too? Let me just check. No, does not say anything. Yeah, massage under wet skin, rinse clean. This one, massage onto skin, focusing on rough and buffy areas. Yeah, good, excellent. Leave on for one minute to infuse moisture and then follow up with your body cleanser. We got the body polish here. Looks like this. And this one smells a little bit more spa-like. Um, not anything really distinctive besides just general spa, which I don't mind. That's pretty nice. I'll take it. So this one is going to be fun to play with. I am looking forward to that, um, especially because I do have a couple areas, like up here in the upper arms looks a little bit on the bumpy side, on the legs, uh, kind of knee up would benefit from this as well. And then finally, I was kind of watching for this scent. This is the Dove White Peach and Crushed Rice. Looks like that. Um, I did smell this, the soap because I intended to buy it with it to make a little set, but I wasn't a big fan of it in the soap form. So I just bought it in the scrub. And it carries a lot more of a peachy scent here in the scrub. So I'm excited to play with this one as well. Uh, a lot of my peach soaps are exfoliating. So again, I'll have to be careful how I pair things to find a non-exfoliating soap. But... I, I was wanting this particular scent, so I'm so glad it smelled this yummy. <laughs> I bought five shower gels slash body washes. Do I need them? No, I don't. And somehow body washes take me a long time to go through. Like I can go through my body, like moisturizers, creams fairly quickly, scrubs I'm going through at a pretty decent rate, but <laughs> these body washes, oh goodness. Um, let's start with this guy here. Um, so I may be planning on pulling out this watermelon body uh, lotion pretty soon. So uh, found something to pair with it. This is from Nivea. This is their Fresh Blends Refreshing Body Wash in watermelon, mint, and coconut milk. Got this for like a dollar out. So that for five bucks, but... And I'm enjoying mint. So I have kind of handy right over here, the Olay Fresh LS with white strawberry and mint. So good, loving it. So I am enjoying mint as an additional note. So we'll see how this one performs. This is a 500 milliliter bottle. So it's quite a big bottle, even though it looks not very big. And I do have is it the mango one in the Nivea as well. So now I have two of these particular scents. And those were the two that kind of intrigued me. So we've got that one. I've got routines in mind for that. Uh, I kind of went then crazy on Olay. So the rest of this is Olay here. Um, this was on sale. I am kind of intrigued by this line. And so I opted to go for the sugar and cocoa butter. This is the exfoliating body wash. Again, why am I buying more exfoliating body washes when I have all these scrubs to get through? But this one just smells so good. Like, yeah, like a little bit gourmand, but nothing too crazy. This will pair well with so many different scents, particularly like more of my winter options. So I wanted to try just, I'm trying to be good. 
I promise, I'm trying to be good with this. So I only grabbed one of this particular line to start out with. And then this was new. I picked this one up also at Shoppers Drug Mart. So again, it matches this one, which I love the scent, love the formula. So it's like, hey, you know what? I'll try another of the same formula. This one is the Olay Fresh Outlast, but it has notes of orange blossom and white tea. Now again, I get more of the citrus notes here. Yeah, it smells light citrus orangey kind of a scent. Um, not so much like the white tea. And it looks like this one is orange, so that's fun. The uh, strawberry and mint one is pink, so. Really love the formula. I am so excited to have another of these to kind of try out and experiment. I have lots of body creams that go with kind of an orange scent. So I'm looking forward to playing with this one too. Speaking of the Olay Fresh Outlast line, look at the size. Okay, quick, quick, quick comparison. So this is the 650 milliliter and this guy here is 975. So very exciting. 975 also comes in the white strawberry mint, which you bet that will be the size that I will be buying. But this one is not white strawberry mint. This one is uh, notes of watermelon and agave. So again, another option for watermelon routines that I could build. I think I'll do the Nivea first though, just because it's smaller. Um, oh, ooh, look at that pink. Oh, look at that goodness stuff. Okay. Yeah. And I think I just really like the blend of both the watermelon and the agave. So we'll give this one a go. So now I own three different scents in this Olay formula. Really, really enjoying it. Um, I like that it has a pump so it'll be easier in the shower. It's just to store hedges are going to be. It's going to be interesting where I'm going to put this when I'm in trying to use it. And finally, guys, I got my hands on one of the new Olay Indulgent Moisturizer Body Washes. Yeah, 24 hour moisturizing body wash. Um, these, after I bought it, well, I saw some people hauling it again from the States. Um, then I saw three in my store. I saw this one, the cherry and rose one, which not big on cherry or rose. And then the mango one, which didn't smell very good. Um, I know there's a purple one. I don't know what that is. And then there's another one still, but this one, this one smells amazing. I'll tell you the notes in just a sec. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. That is nice. Do a happy dance. And it was on sale. Uh, this is a 591 million. So again, all of these are very, very large, much, much bigger than a Bath and Body Works. And those take me a long time to go through. And again, the Olay. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that packaging. Um, they put a lot of emphasis on like this 14-day glowy skin, which... I like, I like looking glowy. This one I thought smelled the best out of the options. This is notes of Caribbean guava and coconut oil. I am loving, I'm loving guava right now. Loving it, wanting it, and it just looks so pretty, so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna wrap up the little haul with the K-Beauty section. All of this stuff is from Marshall, and again, technically this body scrub also falls under that category. But we're gonna start off with some hand creams because I have been actually working through my hand creams fairly decently. I'm doing quite well. I'm working those numbers down and I decided I would replenish a little bit. Did I need to replenish yet? No, not really. But look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. All right, what brand is this? This is from Esfolio. Apologies. If I'm saying this completely, completely wrong, I picked up two different scents. Uh, this one is a fresh pink peach hand cream. I have not tried this one yet. And one of the things I super appreciate about K-Beauty, clear, clear exploration dates. Like that is so helpful, especially for someone like me, because it's hard to keep track when you buy everything. But look how cute this is. Oh, okay. This is 100 milliliters, so it's a decent sized hand cream. Um, I'm not a big fan of this style of top, but it's a light peach scent. Okay, so it's not overpowering. I think this would be good for the office because it's, again, a little bit larger. Um, you got a little bit of air at the top. This is going to be filled to about here or so. 
So it's going to be very, very nice. So I picked up, there were a couple different options, but I went with the Fresh Pink Peach. And then I also went with the Sweet Strawberry Hand Cream. Um, I've actually tried Sweet Strawberry already because if I ended up not liking the formula, I could take back the White Peach. So I've already cracked into this one. So I'm going to show it to you because my hands are crazy dry. Uh, so get a little bit out. Looks like this. Yeah, it's a very light strawberry scent like not a super rich juicy strawberry almost but not a strawberry yogurt either like it's a nice strawberry and it's kind of it works in very nicely and it kind of really worked out because my hands need it so badly my hands are so dry um and it seems to do a pretty decent job of moisturizing the hands. It works in fairly easily. doesn't leave like a super greasy feeling or anything. So there's my after comparison. So it's, it's nice. I am enjoying it. The packaging is super cute. Clear expiration date uh, oh, sorry, up here at the top, which is so, so nice. And because it's a lighter scent along with the Pink Peach one, these could be all year hand creams, like particularly spring, summer but could you really use them any time? And these were each $4.99. Again, you got 100 milliliters in here. The last two items, you guys, I am so excited. So these were the only two things I bought on my last Marshalls haul. And it's kind of something I have seen in a lot of people's like Marshalls shop with me. And not a lot of people buy them. I feel like they've been around for a while now, but they just looked so intriguing. So that when I actually saw them myself in store, I kind, I kind of freaked out a little bit. Uh, I was so excited, and let's just get into it. Right, I believe the band is Quellanora. We have the body cleanser in strawberry milk, and we have the body lotion in strawberry milk. We got the full set. I'm so excited, you guys! Oh my goodness! Again, I have seen these in so many other people's videos oh okay um they did also have the peach one just in the body lotion though so i thought about getting it but i'm like no like let's try the formula first make sure i like it and again strawberry is amazing so i'm gonna go with my favorite set first especially because i got an animal set so these were each $7.99. Uh, so this, of course, is the body cleanser. It's kind of a big guy, kind of a big guy, but it should still be okay to fit in the shower. Got this cute little strawberry up there. Um, in terms of the scent, it's supposed to have real strawberry extract in here. Gently cleanse, remove impurities. Leave your skin feeling purified, fresh and clean, contains strawberry extract, which will provide skin vitality and a healthy glow. Love it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so in, <laughs> strawberry milk is a very good descriptor of this. Um, it's a little bit stronger of a strawberry than the hand cream I just showed you guys, but it's not like a juicy, juicy strawberry. Like the, the strawberry milk... Like it does kind of cut it a little bit. Oh, it's pink too. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. So, and I'm getting to pair it. Now again, I prefer my body creams over a body lotion, but I just really want to try this brand and this product. Again, the body lotion in strawberry milk, long-lasting hydration without a sticky residue, has that strawberry extract in there as well, and royal jelly extract to help nourish and soothe the skin. Oh, so we've got, this looks like a white lotion this time. Yeah, and this scent is a little different. It's less, like, this one's a little bit more juicy strawberry compared to the lotion. This one, I think it's more of a milky with a little bit of strawberry scent in it um, compared to the last one. Well, the milk was more of a cutting of the strawberry. But I'm just so excited to try this, you guys. Like, I cannot wait to try it out. And I feel the table. <laughs> Whoops. Like I said, I was buying a lot. Um, a lot of this was from Marshalls. 
Again, there was shopping store, but there was Walmart, there was a Dollar Tree, there was Superstore. Yeah, that's everywhere I've purchased all the stuff from. Since I did my last hygiene haul, like sometime last month. Whoops. But that's okay, because eventually I will get used to all of this. I'll be smelling nice, and I get to try more formulas and more scents, and it's going to be so good. So good. Especially right now, of course, if you caught my last hygiene project, use it up. I'm really going to be focusing on my 2022 body creams from Bath & Body Works, which this shelf up here is basically full of. Um, and because at that time of Bath & Body Works, I was only shopping for the body moisturizers. I wasn't buying shower gel. I wasn't buying the scrubs. This stuff is going to give me some options to pair with all of this stuff to make some nice, fun scents and routines. And it's going to be just making my shower a much more enjoyable, self-care, relaxing kind of place, which is the whole purpose and kind of my changed philosophy with looking at my shower routines, my body care routines, my skin care routines, my nail routines, my makeup routines. So just kind of a new philosophy kind of that started just before I started my YouTube journey and sharing all my panning with you guys. But that is going to complete today's haul video. So all of the new recent hygiene purchases, including new drops, which I was so excited to get my hands on. And I'm excited to play with all of the stuff here. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below, including your favorite items. Are there other scents that you really love in these lines that I should be keeping my eyes out for? If you enjoy hygiene hauls, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Your feedback is so helpful and I enjoy chatting with you guys in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.